Well, the hard part for them is, is that without the 193 immersion tools um, with high overlay accuracy, it's going to limit them in, in terms of the yields and the cost of manufacturing, both seven nanometer, and we expect in within by next year, they will be to five nanometer, but by the time they get to five nanometer, the West is gonna to be to two. And uh, that's a big restriction for them. I think the other interesting thing about what happened with ASML and, and how much of the last part was China is it also indicates that the Chinese lithography equipment manufacturers are not seeing that attractive, to be that attractive at this point. And a lot of our indication about the capability of their 193 immersion tool, which is was supposed to be introduced a year ago in December, it came on the internet just briefly and disappeared. Uh, looks like there's, you know, that's a big weak point for them. Uh, but there's really nothing stopping for China from being really well. It's the geopolitical, it's the combination of the technology and the geopolitical issues that, that are really uh, the threat. Uh, it's, um, if they were still part of the world order and had access to those tools, that would be a big issue for them. And then looming in the threat is India. Indeed. Uh, Dan Martin here, good to see you. So, you know, when I think about uh, 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 the supply chain uh, for chips, right, right up top for the chips themselves, there, there's silicon. And as far as man the manufacturing process goes, it's these chip equipment makers like ASML, Tokyo Micron, et cetera, right? The chip makers themselves, there's only a handful. Chip equipment makers, it's an even smaller handful. China obviously doesn't want to be too dependent on uh, these names, but right now it really has no choice. What really are their alternatives, though? Where else could they source this chip equipment gear from, or are they developing that capacity themselves, and how long is it going to take them to potentially catch up? They're trying to develop the capability themselves. Um, personally, my forecast are that it's going to be um, not in the foreseeable future that they will have equal capability. I mean, realize that China has been in the semiconductor industry since the 1970s, and they've been trying to be a global competitor since the 1970s. And so it's it's not like this is something new where they're coming into the market and really turning things around. And, and, and even in the West, there's no country in the world that has a completely vertical supply chain. Even ASML can't make their tools without having a distributed supply chain that where the parts come to the tools from all over the world. All right, fair enough. The technology is just too difficult. You know, and, and, and you depend on really bright people and those bright people, you need the entire world's population to find the right, the, the brightest people and get them in the right places.